to schedule a change to the existing order, click on Schedule. In my previous example with Rob, he was going to have a deliver empty and return empty. He calls up later and says, well, actually, I want to send this portable unit down the street. And then we'll return it later. Click on the respective person. When you select the tenant, you'll also see a quote order. So this order references that particular person. Click Next. Click Edit. The initial deliver empty was closed, so the final step is the return empty. Prior to this final step, which is always return empty, we're going to click on Dispatch in the upper right hand corner and we're going to add before. We're going to add a change to this initial plan. So we click Add Before and we're going to choose from the list of the different services. Choose from the service that represents what you want to have happen. In this particular case, we're going to do a curb to curb. So initially, this unit was delivered empty to their house. They say they want to go to another house after that fact, then it's going to be delivered to the facility. In this case, we know that Rob is at 123 Example Street, but where does we want it to go? Maybe he wants it to go down the street to 587 Example Street. So we click OK. Now we have this curb to curb before the final action of returning it empty. If we had clicked add after in this case and we tried to add the curb to curb after the return empty, it would give us an error because that's not a logical flow. You need to think about what's truly happening with the unit when you choose these respective actions. So again, it was a deliver empty, then it was a curb to curb, finally a return empty. So the curb to curb is actually happening before the return empty. Even though return empty was on this screen previously, there's now been a change to what's happening in real life. And that's why we need to choose add before in this case. Once we do that, at the bottom of the screen, we see our charges. If for some reason you don't want to charge the person for this new change, this new action, then you'd want to discount that charge so that, so that they don't owe for it. Click close, save. Are we sure we want to commit this? Yes. And then finish.